today's video is going to be around your reports. So basic uh, reports training. Um, there's two different types of reports you're going to look at. Um, it's going to be um, your first report is going to be your list reports, which can be found here under reports. Um, if you go into any module, um, you can see the relative reports um, to that module. So if I click here, we're in manufacturing, click manufacturing reports. Here are all those relevant reports. Um, you can get reports from there, as I said, or by clicking down at the bottom, click on reports, open up the reports, or by clicking up at the top. So we can go ahead and jump into our reports. Um, and there's a huge amount of reports within the report selector. You can select what category you want to look at. So whether it's appointments, banking, budgeting, uh, and look at the relevant reports um, dedicated to that criteria. Reports are going to be based around the lists within True ERP. So we've got product, here's a product list. Um, whether we're in marketing, we've got marketing contacts list. And these are going to be based around these list choices. So if we go ahead and jump back into a report, and we're going to say leads, the reports will be based on these lists. Now, these reports um, are completely customizable. So you can filter on different fields. Um, you can filter by right clicking on the information and, and adding your own custom filters. You can move things around. Um, to best suit your needs and again the moment you do those changes you go back out and come back in it saves those changes for you so a great way of customizing and saving those changes without physically having to save that again this is completely customizable so whatever list you're in let's jump into a different one let's go to jobs and we can go into employee analysis these lists can be customized so you can add fields turn on fields turn off fields and you can design this the way you would like to see that information so again if you want to add fields go ahead customize and turn on those fields that you want to see let's jump into a, a marketing report there we go and we'll go into the leads again so Within customize within here, there's a huge amount of um, options. So if I want to see um, global references, who it's been created by, street addresses, emails, the source of this contact, completely customizable. Again, the moment you do any changes um, and alter this in any way and save that, you can go ahead and create your own custom list for this. So now if I would like to create my own list out of what I've just customized now, Go ahead, save those changes, jump back in, and we can go to custom reports where we can give this report a name. So we're gonna say new, new lead report. And we're gonna save that under sales or whatever, whatever relevant to that. And we're gonna go ahead and create this custom report. It'll load that new information. We can see in our new lead report. If I jump back out, it'll now create a folder um, within my sales or wherever I saved it, and it will show that new folder. So if we go ahead and new lead report. So there's my new lead that we just created, and that's how it's gonna look like. Let's jump back out. As well as that, it would have saved my report to a folder called My Reports. If I jump in there, we can see there's that new lead report. Double click and it will open up that new lead report. Just jump back out. So there you are, a great way to customize and create your own new um, reports. And again, um, when in any report, um, completely customizable. Um, and again, searching on these, you can search with different modes, um, F5, F6, and F7. F5 is going to be the full search, so whenever you type in the uh, company's name, it'll search for that. F6 is going to be starts with, so whatever the company starts with, um, it's going to search for that, whatever you type in. And F7 is going to be sounds like. 
I usually search on full that way you know the company you're searching for but sometimes the list is too big and too long and you just type in the full company's name and it will populate that so if we're looking for coke or if we're looking for phase florist there we go it finds it immediately so a huge way of getting around your reports um, within any report um, no matter what field you're in whether it's jobs inventory in that report you can search from different date ranges so you've got default date ranges you can search from so today's reports today's information last month's um, previous months that'll change these date ranges you can also change these date ranges manually when searching for reports um, however you want to do that um, but again when doing that um, bear in mind that the greater the date range the greater the data will be for that so it'll need to pull more data therefore slowing the opening of the list down so the greater the date range the larger the report will take to load so just bear that in mind when selecting date ranges um, with updating batches you can run a batch um, over here and that'll get all the relevant um, transactions up to date when updating the batch um, so in other words if you use this um, and update a batch you will gain speed um, but if you update a batch um, every hour on the hour your reports will be an hour behind if that makes sense if you turn off update batch your reports are then real time but you lose speed so there's two ways of getting around there whether you want um, to update the batch and gain speed or turn it off and, and gain real time so play around with those two options let's jump back out of there regards to the date ranges um, you can set that up as well in utilities and preferences under employee and the default date range that will pull up will be these days past so however many days past and however many days forward again bear in mind that date range um, if you want to gain speed you should make that a smaller number um, if you're not too worried about it then keep it as a larger number but just bear that in mind so you can use those preferences to save um, your default date range settings again if we look at if we look in any report um, it's completely drillable so if we go back into um, or let's say quite status report if we look at any information here and we want to know what makes up that information simply double click and that'll take you back to what makes that up so if we're looking at this transaction uh, or quote number 486 and we want to know how this number got there from Acme Rockets simply double click and it will take you back to what makes that up so whether it's a sales order or a quote or an invoice simply double click and go back to the original information that makes that up that applies for um, you know within um, feedback reports double click again um, invoices uh, POS transactions search by period um, summary detailed list and so on double click in there there's that point of sale that that cash sale and what makes that up for whom so drillable throughout the system within your reports in any list again also within your reports um, again you can access your reports from here here uh, or the top within any report um, if we jump back into uh, marketing and we want to go look at the contacts list you have an option to export this and to customize it that we touched on earlier as well as print this now within printing this um, you have a huge amount of options and information in what you want to see when printing this so so if we want to change our different options in the layout of this uh, we just go into file report options and this is going to change uh, the look and feel regards to this uh, report so general um, you know print what current pages selection of rows um, you know shrink to page um, the different margin setup you can use style um, titles setup 
a huge amount of options within that. Um, so go ahead and play around with that and see what options do you want for or when printing a list or a report. Let's just jump back out of there. We're going to uh, CRM or any type of report you want to if we go look at our sales within those reports on the right hand side of that will be its relative charts so if we want to go look at a profit and loss chart simply double click and that'll open up the relevant chart to what we wanted to see edit the chart um, customize it in any which way we want to uh, we can create new charts from this we can um, set up data designer um, and so on so an awesome way of viewing different charts related to the different sections in here. Again, you can view the charts by, uh, charts by double clicking or by simply creating your own. Jump back out of there. The last thing we're going to look at is, um, or type of report we can look at, is our uh, SQL writer. Um, our SQL uh, report writer is going to be for our printing purposes so like a sales invoice you want to print or a quote or, or so on um, that's going to be done in reports and we can look at our templates um, as well as getting to these custom uh, templates we can also view that by going into employee um, and by accessing custom reports uh, and this is going to open up our SQL report writer. Now when designing an SQL report or a, a, a template for a report you should think about designing that around a relative report so if we want to design a new report but it's got something to do with invoices or it's similar to invoices use that invoice uh, report as a template for your new report new and we'll give this report a name so we'll say new new report and or well, let's say new report invoice and we want to design design that around look at all the different options we're gonna uh, design that around a uh, sales order um, so that report is going to be designed um, around this so we're going to go ahead and uh, save that if we now jump back into our custom reports um, there's our new report invoice that we're going to use what we recommend to do now is go back in and view the other reports that make this up so if we go um, back into reports into templates and we're going to go view the different templates now and our report is going to be designed around an invoice I'm going to simply search and find my invoice and this SQL string here is what I'm going to take and copy across so copy that custom reports and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it over this string here I'm going to quickly save that, go back into it, and I'm going to go into the report designer, and there we go. So there's my basic report, and because I've loaded that SQL string, it's going to give me all these different options that were loaded from the um, invoice template that we used. So within here, I mean, you can simply um, drag and drop things, move things around, resize them, um, add add text to whatever you want you can design this um, in any which way you want to you can drag um, fields in uh, let's drag that in here uh, phone numbers this can be designed in any which way um, you want it to be designed again you can alter it add text in it and go ahead and preview that and this will come up with a whole bunch of information in which the way you design this report so if you want to see cities or states whatever the fields are design that and it'll come up with all the required information that you put in there as well as that if you really want to be um, take this to an easier level simply um, hit file new and we're going to use the report wizard 
this is going to be a real easy way we're just going to select the fields we want to drop them in here just simply click on it once and click on the arrow to add the different fields go like that add a whole bunch of different fields click next however you want to view this and um, you can add these into groups if you choose uh, give this block an outline a, a landscape or, uh, or portrait we'll keep it as corporate preview report and a real easy way of designing a custom report um, that's just a basic way of adding your different fields um, within the wizard again that's file new and design that around your wizard and this will give you these options again add fields into it resize certain things however you want to just jump back out of there so there you are that's your reports um, that's your way of getting around with your lists and reports within here um, you can select your reports from there from the bottom or at the top um, as well as viewing the charts that are related to those lists and reports and your SQL writer that was also found um, at the top under templates or under employee under custom reports where you can create your own reports so I really hope that was helpful that's your reports training thanks for watching